Hey, sir, sir, try again. I, uh, I just looked at this um, trailer, so I'll check out this movie. Uh, thanks. And it looks interesting. And I'm looking for movies to just kind of chill. I, I only watch like uh, tutorials. So, and uh, I'm trying to get into relaxing a little bit more. Uh, just do nothing, you know. Um, so, uh, anyway, I want to, um, so thanks again. I want to, uh, I was recording this blog and it stopped real quick. Uh, it, my drive filled up. So, so I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to get directly to the point. Cause I was almost to, you know how I, every, every time I do a video, it's like seven minutes before I get to the point. And then I approach the point on the ninth minute and then I make the point in like 30 seconds, you know, <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get to the point today on this one. I'm, I'm tired. I'm going to get some rest. Uh, so the point is, is, uh, I want to say that, uh, God placed in government, uh, put, allows government to be in power. And America is a country that says, um, God bless America. You know, we love God, you know, uh, uh, for the most part, you know. But anyway, that's not my point. My point, I will get directly to it, is that America needs, you know, in a great time of financial, I can't say it without pre uh, prefacing it. Um, anyway, all right, I got to do it. Many, uh, Pilate said to Jesus, uh, don't you know I have the power to kill you? And and Jesus said, no, you have no power unless my Father in heaven has given it to you. And so what that says is that God placed the, him, Pilate, into um, power. And, and there's other references to the Bible where, you know, Jesus has said, give what's due to Caesar, Caesar. Like, yes, this is just dessert. Pray your tributes to Caesars. Make your tithes, your taxes, your sacrifices. And what is due to God, give it to God, okay? Don't take God's and try to give it to Caesar, okay? That's not good. Yeah. But um, so my point is, is that uh, we, uh, we, uh, that God put this in power and, and so it's a good thing. And America in general, we sing, you know, God bless America. Or how does it go? Um, I forgot the song now. But it says, I don't like good with brotherhood. Uh, oh, my reach out. And for beautiful, for spacious skies, forever, you know, uh, crown that good with brotherhood and, and, and digest desserts of the... Thy rewards or honor thy good with a crown of good. I forgot how it goes right now. I gotta be singing it with Ray Charles. Okay. But, uh, you know, uh, God rest his soul. And so, uh, um, but, uh, but the thing about it is, you know, actually that song always made me cry. With Ray Charles singing, it's just like, you gotta love. You yeah. gotta thank him for it. You know, you know he crowned that good with brotherhood, and you ought to thank him for it. You know, it just just you know hits your heart, soul. You know, but God um, put governments in place, and He uses governments to His advantage sometimes. You know, what well, the people of Israel were always getting their butt kicked by by another another nation you know i mean it's like when they got out of line god was saying hey well i'll just let your enemies you know have at it you know i'll take my hand of protection off and uh you know so that's one of my concerns about when we start making up rules and laws and signing sin into laws and stuff you know that's you know all god gotta say is okay you don't want me you know it's like you know in the schools you don't want me in the schools okay how about if I take my hand back and let those Columbine or serial murders, little Virginia Tech guys and all that stuff, you know, it's just that, that, that simple. It's not so much what God does for us is, is what he doesn't allow to get to us, you know? So the thing that gets me is, is that 
So my point is, and I'm at five minutes, y'all. My point is, is that God often bless nations through a man of God. I think that it is really good that a nation have, if they want to be blessed, if they want economic success, if they want, uh, you know, because the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof. And if you want God to bless their economy, their money, and everything else, you know, you need to have some men of God in the economy, you know, so that they can give you information from God to be blessed. You know, literally, I mean, um, Every pharaoh was an Egyptian, you know, there's Egyptian nations. You know, they didn't love God. They didn't even serve God, okay? <laughs> they they served, uh, you know, these other gods, you know. Uh, uh, I won't go into that. But um, so, but, you know, that God still had a man of God, and so you could be blessed by having a man of God up in your administration, you know? And so this is a very good thing. All right, Joseph got tossed in the well from his brothers. He got in the jail. He got in the pot for his wives, all this stuff. And all this stuff happened to him, and eventually he was in jail, and he eventually uh, 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 wound up blessing agriculturally. You know, I mean, these people cared about the work that they did. They did it, they do it unto the Lord. They don't do it just to make a buck. Most politicians are in politicians just to make a buck. The doctors are there just to make the buck now. It used to be to help people. Okay? It used to be that doctors were there because they were concerned that people and life and stuff like that. But now it's like they need a Mercedes. They need a new ranch or something like that. So, so it's like the motivation. The motivation is just to do it right and to do it pleasing, you know? So, so my point is, there's several instances in the Bible, Joseph being one, where, you know, God blessed, you know, there was a famine coming, and God told Joseph, like, tell your Pharaoh to uh, uh, store up the store because there's a famine coming. And then all the nations would have to come to you to get food because you would be the only one who stored up when the famine hits. You know, the, the rain is going to dry up. I'm letting you know ahead of time, I'm about to dry up the rain. And so, you know, the stock, the livestock, you know, you start saving some water or what, what have you. You know, it's like, you know, okay, stockpile, get yourself ready. And so this may alternatively made them rich, you know. It made them rich. It made all the nations say them. I mean, God has an economic system. And, you know, God says, owe no man nothing but love. I mean, don't owe nobody no money. You know, that's economics. You know, there's a lot of economics in there. You know, it's in the Bible. I mean, Patton and wartime heroes, to beat people in war, they would use the Bible. So why not use the Bible for economics? You know, study it, break it out, and try to get something out of it. You know, uh, so my my point was is just to bring a couple of other instances. So here you had um, uh, um, uh, Joseph, and so he blessed them. You also, and he blessed Pharaoh. You know, and here you also had uh, Daniel, who also blessed. Uh, I think it was Darius or uh, Nebuchadnezzar. I mean, Nebuchadnezzar had a great, 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 great nation until he got full of himself, you know, but because Daniel advised him. And, and, and he, you know, these are people that, you know, they were about God. They weren't trying to cheat, you know, because they figure in the back alley and in the back, uh, God is still watching. God could still see them. You know, they wouldn't fudge the numbers because they knew that God hates an unjust balance, you know. Um, these um, these uh, bankers nowadays, you know, it's like the parable of the king where the, the king or, or let's say Obama would bail them out, right? And then they go and foreclose on people that owe him. So here you have a king that shows them mercy and then they go to their servants and, 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 and really uh, do their servants wrong, you know, people that owe them. 
So then the king goes and throw the person that he had released in jail and penalize him for the way that he he said, basically, I've forgiven you and you couldn't forgive them. It, it's Bible. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. You know, how are you going to bail people, the government going to bail you out, and then you're going to say, oh, well, I want my money from you. I'm going to fold coils on you in return, you know? So, I mean, there's a lot of uh, Bible principles that uh, when you have people that, um, you know, are, you know, who, you know, are, that answer to a higher power or people who have the wisdom of God, if you have them up in your administration, your administration will, will prosper because God going to see that the work of their hands are blessed. You know, so uh, there's another instance of uh, somebody else in the Bible. And if anybody else has one, Diamond Head is a real wonderful one. Anybody else have a, a, a suggestion of any other ones? I had one in my mind. I just can't think of it right now. Um, oh, Jacob. Jacob. He blessed uh, the other guy. He was, uh, I forgot his name. But uh, he was blessed. Uh, he, you know, you sign these people on and they, you know, blessings start to come. And I'm a living witness. You know, there is a, <laughs> I did a $20,000 sale. This, this, there was a, a Apple store here and I did a $20,000 sale and the Lord blessed me. I did the sale on my days off. You know, so that nobody could even take credit. I mean, it came from the Lord. I said, Lord, you know what? You know, it, it would be nice if I could sell all my computers I had and stop. The Lord would do exceedingly and above all that you can think of and ask for. I mean, I had so I had so this one lady and I had just treated her so right that she came back and she wanted to, just wanted ten more computers from her law age, uh, law uh, agency that they were setting up. And so, I, not only did I have to sell my computers, but they had to ship computers in. <laughs> Praise God, glory to God. I'm just telling you. I'm just saying, y'all. God bless you all. I love you all.